So we've packed up and we are heading on the highway on to Cape Cod. We're in Cape Cod. You can probably hear the fans. We put the beds away all wet this morning because we packed up in the rain and they are soaked inside. So all the wood is wet. Uh, the backs of the mattresses are wet. So the vents inside trying to clean it up. I'm hooking up the water to sewer the store link. And, but nice sight, very level. It's paved. Sanziti. But the weather, it's not raining, but the weather hasn't cleared very much, so I don't know if we're going to do anything at all. I'm going to go and check out Silver Beach and maybe a lighthouse. I'm going to try and do the sunset at the north. Well, we made it to Silver Beach, which is great. We got out of the trailer. Um, unfortunately, we tripped a uh, GFCI plug and we can't get it to come back on. So the 30 amps work in the air conditioner is working. The lights are all working in the trailer. It's just the plugs that aren't working. I can't figure out why. There's no breakers that are blown. There's no fuses that are blown. It's just the GFCI won't come back on. I looked online and it said that it's probably moisture in the plugs. Uh, we thought maybe the wires overheated because we had the air fryer on and the, uh, the hair dryer but it's had plenty of time to cool down and nothing's happened. So we either have a ground fault somewhere that we can't find. I don't know that we're going to be able to find it without taking the plugs apart or there's moisture in the line somewhere. So we decided to go out for, see what we can see. And uh, I guess we'll see what it's like when we get back. Feel it's time that you should know. Hard to believe it's been 12 years since we were here last. You and I should be alone. Cause you we are on our way walking to the knob. There's, it's not very obvious where the parking is at first. The trail's very narrow, but... And we were warned that there's lots of ticks here, so... Anyways, let's get to the knob. You and I became to be. The Carey family originally acquired this land in the 1870s. In 1963, Cornelia Carey became the sole owner of this almost 13 acres and contracted repairs to slow its erosion. Upon her passing in 1973, the land was gifted to the Salt Pond Area Bird Sanctuaries. Should try our best to get away. But that's all original footing. See the rock wall? Yeah. And the all inside is all original. Wow. What year? 1800. So many little crabs here in Quisset Harbor. Penobscot Light Tower has been here since 1876 and is visible from 17 miles out to sea. Not sure why this Coast Guard helicopter keeps flying over.
That's it for tonight. See you in the morning. It's raining a lot. And so far we've done a couple of different things, but we can't do a lot because it's pouring rain. We took the Starlink off the roof. Uh, it's a pretty bad thunderstorm. And we're expecting very strong winds. There's actually, I'm gonna flip the camera around. There's a river going down the street in front of our campsite. At least we're not in a tent like our neighbors. Well, I decided to hide behind the door here because you're not gonna hear me once I'm out in the wind. But we came to Hyannis and uh, we came to Craigsville Beach. It was like this morning. We actually had tornado warnings and pouring, pouring rain. Um, we're skipping a lot of the stuff just because the weather was so bad. This is as much as we can do in one day. Anyways, let's check out the beach. Well, between the wind and the clouds and the rough sand, the rip currents and the, uh, the amount of waves here, just not staying here. Let's go find something else to do. This memorial to John F. Kennedy overlooks Lewis Bay, where President Kennedy often sailed. Look, some fellow Canadians. Don't know where we're going, what we're gonna do. Got a ticket in my head to you. Cause I'm thinking, maybe we got something. Maybe we got something. Maybe we got something good. Maybe we got something. Coming up next, we see a famous boat and we finally get to the beach. I give a history lesson, and we see another lighthouse. I show off my tan lines and my cooking skills. Ketchup chips are good, Nancy. We even do a live stream on the road. So hit subscribe, our next adventure is just around the corner.